Okay, hello Ravenclaw, how are you guys doing? Hope everything is going well. I hope this week we can get a good, strong, clear message. Uh, but I, <laughs> it is whatever, right? Okay, so, um, there we go. I'm going to pull your cards from this part of the deck and we'll go from there. All right. <sighs> I believe it is like almost two o'clock in the morning. And, uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. I think I'm tired, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I woke up yesterday, four o'clock in the morning, and then I stayed up for a while and then I got some stuff done. I took a little nap. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to do my readings today and, you know, whatever. Um, I felt like writing yesterday, which was really weird. Um, I don't know. And then when I woke up from my nap, which was like an hour, I went out and I did all of my farm chores and that was fun. Then I came in and I was like, all right, I'm going to have a drink because hadn't had a drink <laughs> and I don't really drink so I was like okay you know I'm gonna go ahead and have a drink and then I had another one and I was like okay now I'm good and relaxed so I've been stressing all week just had stuff going on and uh so okay you know I'm gonna go ahead and start my readings now and then my son called and we were on the phone for like two hours just catching up and that was nice Oh, gosh. Did you guys have Shrunken Head last week? This just happened with Slytherin. Like, some of the cards for Slytherin from last week came up in this week's reading. I don't know. And it's not like I don't shuffle. I shuffle the hell out of these cards. And, um... Yeah, interesting. Anyways, long story short, I went to sleep for a while and then I woke up around 9 10 o'clock and said all right time to get started so here we are <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are doing well hope everything is going lovely you know what I might just be able to get away with doing four cards for you this week let's see Now, I've got both of these cards in the deck, both Jokers from this particular deck. I love this deck. This is, it's one of my favorites. It's so pretty. Um, in fact, I think this deck and this one, both of those, those are my two favorite decks out of all of the ones that are in my, my, my super deck. Um, but anyways, I have both of these Jokers in the super deck one is colorized and then this one is the black and white one obviously um, it's the Quidditch pitch and I went ahead and I kept both in because for me seeing this one it it's it's shadowy to me it's very um, almost like a memory as opposed to something uh, so not some, like something from the past is kind of how I see that card. And then with the lips being sealed on the shrunken head and the werewolf howling at the moon. I don't know. Let's see where we go with this. Cards are definitely not helping out. Oh, 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 spoke too soon, spoke too soon. Dudley Dursley. Hmm. And now I almost want to know if I should go ahead and just pull a full eight cards today. I don't know. Is that a cat hair? No, it's not. Okay. Hmm. That says, fat, greedy, and spoilt. Harry's enormous cousin, Dudley, has a piggy face, piggy little eyes, and eats continuously. <laughs> wow, um, that's a hell of a description there. 
Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's see. If I don't get four cards to come out right now, then uh, maybe we'll just stick with the four we got, right? All right, let's just keep going. See what we got. Anything? Doesn't feel like it. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and get a clarifying card from the Harry Potter Tarot. And, well, that one felt like it wanted to come out, but maybe not. Oh, that one is the one. Work. Three of Pentacles. Work. Now, that's kind of funny considering that Dudley is eyeballing a money bill. So, uh, yeah. Was that pounds, I guess? Bank of England. Oh, wow, I can't see how many pounds this is. 20 pounds, I think? I don't know. All right. Work. So. Keep your mouth shut. Quidditch pitch. Ooh, Ravenclaw. Are you getting ready to pitch an idea? No. Maybe. Okay. Oh, what? Hmm. This is strangely specific. But what I'm getting is that you have a money-making idea. And uh, this with the black and white part of it. You know, I was saying that I think of it kind of like as a memory kind of thing. But this... It's reading more for me right now, like, uh, like it's the details, right? Like work out all of your details before you start letting everybody know before you, whatever this big idea is that you have, like, keep your mouth shut for a little bit. Keep your lips sealed. You're going to get that money. Right now you're in the working phase of it iron out all those details was it really that simple Ravenclaw like well it's got to be like the shortest reading I've done I don't want to pull a whole nother set because I feel like that was a really easy read um, a part of me just wants to like grab a card from the deck maybe whatever cards like on top or something <sighs> just to see just to see if this is like a um I don't know like a financial something or whatever so I'm gonna pull from the other deck the other side of the deck right because here's here's the one that I was just pulling from okay here's that one so here's this one. This is the other side of it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to take the top card. Well, there you have it. Um, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I want to call it an augury. But I, I could be mistaken on the pronunciation or even how the name of it. But this particular beast right here, if you remember, it's the one that their shells are made out of pure silver. And after the memory charm where everybody forgets what happened, that's actually Newt gives the whole briefcase of... Uh, the shells to Jacob so he can start that that pastry company that bakery so yeah Ravenclaw that's what I'm getting is uh 
is a whole lot of um, your financial idea. I'm really feeling like I just feel like hold off. Don't tell anybody yet. Maybe work out your patent. Maybe work out um, the contract. Something, something that's the black and white part of it. Whatever documentation you need. Okay. Really, really work on that work. And then like almost ready to launch. Okay. Iron out all those things before you start howling. All right, like you, you're excited, you want to say something, but maybe you need that financing first, okay? But right now, with this one coming out right there, I, I, before you go shouting out to the world, iron out those details, okay? All right, Ravenclaw, until next week. That was beautiful. Take care. I love you. Okay, bye.